Good evening, everyone. To begin, I would like to know, in general, how many of you walk to school or to work? Can I have a show of hands, please? Okay. How many of you bike to work or to school? Anyone? Okay. How many of you take the train? Okay. How many of you take a bus, public or private? Okay. And how many of you use a car? Thank you. I just noticed that the majority of you in this room use some form of gasoline-driven transportation to get to work or to school. And the majority of the adults in this room use a car. Students, I'm sure many of you are eager to use a car soon, as am I. And because of that, I want to point you to two pictures. The first, this was taken in 2004 when my family and I went to adopt my sister from China. This picture overlooks the Forbidden City. I want you to notice the smog in the background. Here's the second picture. This picture was also taken in 2004 in Beijing. And again, I want you to notice the smog in the background. How many of you are the where aware of the harmful effects that smog can have on your body. Where do you think the smog is coming from? The air quality of a place can be measured through something called the air quality index. The greater the number, the greater the level of air pollution. And I'm sure when these two pictures were taken, the numbers were way off the charts. Air pollution can be decreased through hybrid electric cars. Did you know in 2017, the United States alone used 392 million gallons of gasoline per day. That's insane. But sadly, it's true. The question proposed to us is what can we do about it? The answer I found was hybrid electric cars. But it all began last summer. Last summer, my mom and I got to visit my uncle and his family in California. And while we were there, my uncle was working with the electric car company Tesla, and I got to ride in one. And while driving down beautiful Californian roads with tall trees lining both sides, I felt moved by the beauty of nature. And I thought about how Teslas are reducing pollution. And so when I researched a topic for senior project, I immediately thought of researching about electric cars, more specifically Teslas. However, I looked up the price of the cheapest model of a Tesla, <laughs> and that is the Tesla Model 3, and it runs for about 30,000 US dollars. And I want to try to find a solution that's more accessible to the general population. So I researched hybrid cars. The power of hybrid cars is that they combine gasoline with another energy source. And usually the energy source is electricity. Electricity can be harnessed in a number of ways, including hydropower, wind power, and solar power. Hybrid electric cars are energy efficient, cost effective, and environmentally friendly. First of all, hybrid electric cars are energy efficient. The regular 2019 Toyota Corolla can travel in, a, in the city and on a highway for two, 32 miles per gallon, whereas the Toyota Corolla Hybrid can travel up to 52 miles per gallon. Hybrid electric cars are also cost effective. The Toyota Corolla Hybrid may be just under $23,000, whereas the regular Toyota Corolla is just under $19,000. However, in the long run, hybrid cars can save you money because they can travel more miles per gallon, and also electricity is cheaper than gas. Lastly, hybrid electric cars are environmentally friendly. Hybrid electric cars help decrease the pollutants in the atmosphere that all living organisms breathe. Gasoline emissions release pollutants through their tailpipe. One of the more harmful pollutants that are released is carbon dioxide. Carb Some of the short-term effects of carbon dioxide include suffocation, unconsciousness, and headaches. I don't think we want to experience that or see anyone else experience that as well. Countries such as Bulgaria, Denmark, Finland, France, and many more have already implemented hybrid electric cars into their society. So the next time you're considering purchasing a car or are purchasing your very first car, consider hybrid electric cars and how they are energy efficient, cost effective, and environmentally friendly. The power now lies in your hands. Will you join me in helping to preserve our environment for generations to come? Thank you.